I thought that this project would have huge impact on the world from the very beginning. Now, getting the track record of actually making the brick press work showed me that there is substance behind my dreams. ever test with a man manual loading of the system. There we go, it's loaded. I mean, to get to the first brick, it's like you gotta, you know, go step by step and you don't know if it's gonna work or not. Baby Woo! <laughs> and when it did, it was just a great moment. So you, you build structures with soil that's right next to your house, avoids transportation costs, it's natural, safe, and high performance as well. Simplicity and design for disassembly are the two main things design for disassembly such that it becomes a lifetime design machine. And simplicity, because I, I'm thinking, okay, we've got these machines that are really expensive. We were looking at this other machine that cost $25,000, and it turned out we can build one for about $1,500 for the first prototype that matched the performance of that press we were looking at. This is, uh, this is an example of the bricks. Uh, I could see it's a little definitely moist, but other than that, that's pretty decent. You're talking about pumping out enough bricks to build yourself a solid house uh, within a day. The difficult part is actually handling the soil, so that's why in the back we have a tractor to load a large hopper. You, know, you don't want to load this with buckets. We have tried a smaller machine, but that's, that's a lot of work. You're talking about um, just a lot of tons, tons of bricks. What that means is that we really have the, the effective team of about 20 people embodied in this machine. The soil falls down from the hopper it goes into the compression chamber and is compressed by a five inch uh, a large cylinder that puts on about 20 tons of force for every brick. So the CV press compresses things and in order to do that things need to move and the controller box controls those movements with the use of electric signals. Kind of like how you use your brain to send electric signals to your hand to do things. And the muscles are the power, which is provided by the power cube. So following that analogy, the control box is the brain of the CD press. This is our main hydraulic cylinder for the CEB press. Um, this was the original, and this is our version, version 4 change. We're going to have 8 inches of soil above this, and this is going to push with everything it has, and the soil is going to reduce in half. Once I found that the brick machine works, I was, wow, we can build just about anything. So, so barns, houses, walls, fences, possibly cisterns, floors, vaulted buildings where even the roof is made out of brick. Those all became possibilities and I said, wow, we can do that at really low cost. Now it does require labor and it requires efficiency of production. So for example, you do want to be pressing and laying your bricks right in the wall right after you press. The project that we set to achieve last year was to build two major structures, a 4,000 square foot workshop, which we're in right now, and a 3,000 square foot living unit for 10 people. My hopes for the future of the CB Press are simply that this is the most universally used machine for brick making in the world. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. We've got a machine that now we think is going to be really, really good. And after this December, there's going to be major adoption happening as people see that this machine works and the quality of the housing that's built, both in terms of the time and cost, is going to be superior.